Good evening. My name is Robert Wink. I'm with EXP Realty. And today we're going to talk about school zones, um, school boundaries, searching for these school zones or boundaries. The reason why I bring this up is too often I get, which school is my kid going to? Why this is important is because where I'm at in Denton, Texas, I live in Country Lakes. Also down the road is Argyle Country Lakes. Same development, HOA, et cetera. However, we have two different school zones, ISDs, independent school districts that they can go to. And you actually only get the choice of whichever one uh, zoning that you live in. So if you live in the Denton side, you cannot go to Argyle. If you live in Argyle, you can't go to Denton. Why is this important? Well, it's important because, you know, school zones, they're tax different, but also these schools are drastically different between Argyle and Denton. But also the housing value is uh, different as well. So it's something to look at. And this is the, um, we're gonna go through on how to identify which school zone your child will go to. And this can be used throughout the state of Texas but you will also get to review the rating, ratings of these schools, which may help you narrow down your search. Um, and you may make, you know something, I don't wanna do Argyle. I don't wanna do uh, Ditton ISD. I might wanna look at Hazlitt, Northwestern ISD, or I may wanna go out to Plano, Texas, or McKinney and look at their school districts. So if you're moving from out of state, this is a great opportunity to learn about which school districts are available and how to search and to see if the home you're looking at to purchase is within that school zone. Usually a realtor will go to their MLS and they're gonna come in here and go, okay, what are your search parameters? You can say, I'm looking for an active home, $450,000 or less. I need a three plus bedroom, two plus bath, for example. A two car garage. I want a home that's built. Let's do 2017 Ford. The reason why is because of your foundation warranty is good usually for 10 years. Uh, so, and then let's start looking at school districts. So they may come in here and go, let's go Argyle ISD. All right. So Argyle ISD comes up with seven. You hit your results. We can go to our map. So this will show Argyle ISD. And then we can go to our results, see what is going on over here. With the type of homes. Now we can go back to our criteria. Go, hey, let's look at Denton ISD. Why is this important? Because the results, as you can see, is every home that's in the area. But you're also gonna look at your map. And the issue that you have with Argyle and Denton ISD is that sometimes they were blur together or they'll cross lines. This is all manually inputted by a realtor. So when they manually put this in, this could be errors. So how do you go about resolving this or looking to find the right answers? Well, that's pretty simple. You come to the school, TEA, School District website. And so I'm gonna type in 9104 Athens Drive, Argyle, Texas. Now, normally you can think, oh, Argyle, Texas. That means that it's gonna be Argyle Student School District. No, this is actually Denton School District. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna zoom out. So as we zoom out, so I'm gonna reload and we're gonna click over here. Denton ISD, this is Denton ISD. So I'm gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna to go to my next page and that's the great schools. And this is a nonprofit. So I'm at 9104 Athens Drive, Argyle, Argyle, Texas. I'm gonna hit search and I click elementary school. It's searching. All right, and it says Ryan Elementary School. Okay, middle school. Let's do a search again. We're gonna search again, okay, comes up, you know, McMath Middle School. Then your high school, you hit search. And so this is all Denton ISD, so Denton High School. Now, this information is great. However, what you wanna do is jump over to the transportation page of Denton. And you wanna sit there and load uh, Let's go uh, elementary school boundaries, middle school boundaries, and high school boundaries. So middle school, as you can say, this is McMath. Den so where this house address is at actually falls within 
right here. So that's where the address is at, in this area here, this is McMath Middle School. We come to our high school, very similar map. <clears throat> we look for that exact same area right here. That's going to be Denton ISD High School. And then we're going to come over to our elementary, and we're going to look for the same exact map as we're looking for it right here, Ryan Elementary School. So that's how you can tell which school they're going to. Now, that's your transportation page. Now let's let's look at these ratings. So you have a child that's uh, in elementary school, and we know they're going to go to W S Ryan. So we're going to go to back to elementary school. So it says it's nine out of ten. So we're going to click on this. Okay, test scores are above average, student progress is 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10 equity, which is good. We have some reviews on here. You can look at the scores. But we can come down here to equity overview. Talks about, you know, low-income families, other students. We can break it down by race and ethnicity. You know, Hispanics, 48%, 38% Caucasian, 9% African American or black, and 5% Asian. And you can, you can keep... Going through this, and this has a great wealth of information. We can go into student, student demographics, and so this is a great place to go for information. Now, I also like going to this page here. This is actually the so you have the nonprofit, which is here that gathers the information, but then you actually have the school here. So we're gonna go to Denton ISD, let that pull up, and so there's different school ratings now. We're going to go to W.S. Ryan, so we're going to go to, let's see, let's see, elementary, we're going to do grade one, I should pull up the elementary school. All right, so it does, all right, so we're going to go down to three, two, okay, Ryan Elementary School, so this is it, W.S. Ryan, it says it's a B. I'm going to pull this up. So, what we're looking at as it loads. So, we see how this, you know, this rates the school, you know, a, you know, great 8 out of 10 test scores. But if you actually go to the T website, you'll see it's a B. And we can sit there and look at 550 rolled. As you see, there's a 10% difference in Hispanic. Now, this is. TexasSchools.gov, and I, and, I, and I recommend using this over the nonprofit one. Uh, this is pulls from multiple sources. So this, this one here is more specific, where Asian was at 9%, technically it's 3.8. So this will give you some great information about teacher's experience, the ethnicity, if that's what you want to do. If you want to sit there and look at, um, let's see if there's test scores on here. There should, performance. So I'm going to go to performance. Student achievements, star performance, 85 score, and you can go through this and see all types of information about their math. And so you have two different websites you can use. One is nonprofit, the other one is actually government ran. And uh, make your decision on what is best for your uh, child to go to school, and and use this as a parameter to find the perfect school to find for your kids.